Hello, welcome to a special edition of Northern Southern Beer Reviews because I have a special edition beer. Now it's from the Thigston family, well Thigston family owned brewery in Massam in North Yorkshire and it's from the Black Sheep and it's their Imperial Russian lovely jubbly. There you go boys and girls, weighing in at 8.5% ABV. And there you go. They only brew this one about a couple of months a year. And um, I've had this one before. I bought it in York thinking I would never, ever be able to get hold of another one. But luckily I was in York at the time. Went into the House of Trembling Madness. It was there. Picked one up. Sent one down to my mate Panikos. And um, there you go. So, what can I tell you about this? It is from Yorkshire to Russia with love. A deliciously dark, strong, powerful beer to be savoured. Um, so, as I said, it's weighing in at 8.5% um, ABV. It's best served at 13 degrees, which is slightly warmer than cast temperature. So, you know, it's, it's, it's to be respected, put it that way. So, I had like, when I had it, I loved it. So... I'm not going to be disappointed with this one. So let's crack her open. There is beautiful black sheep crown. Off the neck, dark chocolate notes. You're getting more similar to kind of like the chocolate you get, which is pure chocolate as opposed to normal dark chocolate. Pure chocolate being straight from Africa kind of thing. But nothing much else to be honest coming from her. So let's pour out. See what we get from her. Jet black. Off white head. Beautiful looking. Like you do. There you go boys and girls. Still the same chocolate notes what you get from the neck is now. Hint of metallicness, not much. Maybe a hint of brown there. Not much else. So cheers, I'm gonna go in. Beautiful. What hits you first is this, how smooth the beer is. So smooth. You're getting all them generic, um, you're getting all them generic stouty notes. What you know associate, you know, you get the molasses. You're getting. Even espresso coffee note there. Plain chocolate, but it feels smooth. It smell. It feels as though all the lumps and bumps have been smoothed out of the the beer, and it just feels refined and smooth. Just beautiful. It's 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 just kind of like. Just rests on your palate. It rests on your palate, and it's so smooth that it just trickles down, gives you the the chocolate note, the coffee note, little bits of roastedness there, roasted malt there. But it just everything balances so well. Not offering much bitterness though, which is surprising. It's just, just a great, great beer. It's so nice. It's well worth just going down to York and picking one up. It really is. Um, do I feel its strength? No. 
I'm not feeling any strength. And it reminds me some sort, some way of a Belgian beer. And you go out and buy these Belgian beers with the ABV is through the roof. But you do not feel the strength of that beer. It just tastes so nice. It, even it makes you forget about the strength of the beer. And I think this is what this beer does. It, it's, it's, it's something that to save you more savor more than to drink loads of it's 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 one of them it's it's because you know of how high the abv is it's to be respected more than just to knock back and you know spend the afternoon on well you couldn't anyway be honest with you and it's just really really nice it's it's smoother than the guinness well i've got the guinness far next to here There you go, boys and girls. Now, if I had a choice between the two, it'd be a close call, this, because um, that had a little bit more body than that. But saying that is a lot smoother, I think, than that. For me, it's a dead heat between the two. I, I love both beers, I really do. Um, as it's limited edition, makes it a little bit more, sp little bit more special. So um, maybe I will go for that more. But it's very similar. Both very good beers, and the Black Sheep Imperial Stout is a very very smooth beer, um, and it's a beer I, I recommend to anybody out there. So um, thank you for watching this review. Fantastic beer. Just going one more time. All these coffee notes are coming through now with the plain chocolateness. Hit a bit in this there. Just a really wonderful example of its style, I should say. So, boys and girls, thanks for watching this review. Please subscribe. Murder me in the comments. And I'll see you again soon. So cheers.